Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so this video obviously you can tell by the title. I don't think protective song is necessary. Now let me make it clear before you get all, oh my god, everybody knows protective styling is like the best thing ever. Protective styling is not necessary in the absence of extreme weather conditions. Basically, yeah, and you know, bad, harsh management of your hair. Like if you're uh, ripping your hair out with your comb, with your brush, you know, just being rough with your hair. So if you are, unless you're in extreme heat or cold or wind, you know, uh, and you're not, you know, ripping your hair out excessively with your comb or your brush or whatever, protective styling is not necessary in my personal experience, and I think for everybody, period, like, just period. You want, you want to protect your hair. Like, me, my hair grew, like, I'm a year and over six, a year and six-ish, seven months now I'm natural, and I have this much hair. Let me show you. Um, a little bit. I chopped it off. I transitioned for two months. But my hair has grown really well, and I went super happy. For a second, I did like five to six trims, so I might even have more length than this. You know, I trimmed a little bit more than I needed to in the course of me being natural, and I have this much growth. So, if you can see, and it's not even stretched out all the way like I can even, you know, like, and this is a year and six months or whatever, a year and seven months growth, or whatever it is. So, um, my hair still grew wide because I protect my hair every night. If you're protecting your hair every single night and moisturizing your hair, you do not need to do protective styling. If it's not extremely cold and windy outside or extremely hot, you know, if you're just outside moderately and if you live in a generally, um, you know, smooth, it's not extremely hot or it's not extremely cold, I don't see the need for protective styling. If it's a summery, humid, even better, because, you know, our hair loves moisture and humidity. So, if you just live in an, if it's the summer, you don't need to do protective style. Like, seriously. If it's not really cold, I don't see the reason, and this is why, okay? Um, people kept telling me, oh my gosh, your hair is growing so fast, right? And, I, and they saw me, like, excuse me, they saw me, like, chop my hair off, and they were like, oh, your hair is growing so well. Well, I never, I almost never, I try my best, but sometimes, you know, if I need to wash my head scarves or whatever, I don't, I can't wear it. But every single night, I wear a satin scarf. That's all you need to do. That's the biggest tip any for anyone, even if you have natural hair or not. But especially if you have natural hair, just wear a satin scarf or bonnet. Let me show you my scarf. Let's check it. Okay, so I wear a I wear a satin scarf. I don't wear a body. This is the kind of hooded scarf that I wear. Okay, um, I don't wear a body because for some reason they kind of they fuzz out my hair surprisingly because of the extra room in the bonnet. For some reason it rubs on the ends of my hair and it causes friction and breakage. Actually, it makes it like. If I wear it for more than two nights, it starts to dry off my ends and makes my hair rough. I'm like the only person that that happens to. But anyway, so I wear these scarves because, these satin scarves, because it wraps tight to my head so there's no excess material moving around. So that helps me a lot. I don't get any kind of breakage or any kind of anything. So if you have that problem, I highly suggest you wear the scarf. Okay, so this is the thing. You don't need to dip it every style. You don't you just don't need to. If you're protecting your hair every single night and you're being gentle with your hair every time you comb it, there's no need because the reason for protective styling is to protect the hair from the elements, you know, from extreme cold or extreme heat and um, you know, just to help you stop, you know, manipulating your hair a little bit. You manipulate it less so there's less breakage. But I only comb my hair like any time I wash it, and I typically wash it once a week, even though I wanna, I'm starting to change that to twice or three times a week. 
because I think it's the little bit out there to get over myself. But if you're just not handling your hair every single day, your hair is going to grow, okay? Excuse me. And one of the major factors that helped me grow my hair was I had like issues with dry scalp. So I uh, used tea tree oil and everybody was like, oh my gosh, like your hair is growing so fast. What was it? It was the tea tree oil because I was forced to find something to um, alleviate the itchiness and stuff. And tea tree stimulates the scalp because it has a tingling action. So it's really massive and awesome for hair growth. Okay, I'm going to talk about that in another video. But that was confirmed to me. I was using it not for hair growth but to alleviate my itchy scalp. And I came to find that, oh my gosh, it's great for hair growth. I used real pure um, essential, tea tree essential oil, and I mixed it with virgin coconut oil. And that's what I used on my scalp to help with the itchiness, but apparently it also really helps with hair growth. And I'm going to link a video down below. It's a video by Taryn, Taryn 916. She was talking about scalp growth oils, and oh my gosh, there's two oils that I was using on my scalp, not knowing about hair growth. I was using it for itchiness. It turns out it's really awesome for hair growth as well. So I highly recommend you check out that video. I put it down below. Okay, so that's really awesome for hair growth. So your hair is going to grow. If you're protecting your hair every single night with a satin, a satin bonnet or scarf, it's going to grow. And you're not in like the Sahara Desert or it's not like below 30 degrees. You don't need to wear your hair in twists and braids all the time. Your hair is going to grow. I'm proof of it. You don't need to wear protective style in order to uh, enhance the growth of your hair. You know, uh, it, it's just not necessary. It's not necessary. You can wear nice styles every single day. Twist up. Just handle your hair with care. You know, don't rip it out when you're combing it, and don't comb it every single day. I don't comb my hair. I comb my hair about once a week, but I would say even three times a week. Don't comb your hair more than three times a week, okay? Uh, because it's not necessary. I don't do tangle. I don't anything. Even if you have to twist it up the next night, just twist it. And you don't need to comb it to twist it up or braid it up or whatever. So that's it. It's just about gentle hair care practices. Be gentle in your hands with your hair. Wear protect it every single night with a satin bonnet or scarf, okay? And you don't need to wear protect stuff unless it's extremely cold or hot and windy outside. And for the most part, um, you know, most people don't live in climates, unless you live in like the Sahara Desert. Most people don't live somewhere where they constantly, you know, where there are like extreme weather conditions. So if you're like most people who well, you're not outside, like, you're not outside excessively more than three, four hours. Like, it's just not necessary, you know. It's, it's really not. Your hair will grow. And you're keeping your hair moisturized. Oh, my gosh, it's so important. I forgot that point. So, to recap, because I'm kind of rambling here, protective styling is not necessary in the absence of extreme weather conditions if you are one, protecting your hair every single night with a satin scarf, and two, moisturizing your hair with some water. Okay? And water is the only thing that moisturizes the hair. Oils, creams, butters, lotions, milk only seal in the moisture to your hair. So you have to be spraying your hair with water on a regular basis, I would say, even though I don't even follow this and my hair is still growing. Once a day, I don't even do that. I like wet my hair up like once every four days or something like that, which is bad. And it's still growing. You see what I'm talking about? You don't need to, and I hardly never protect. I don't wear my hair suits all the time. I don't wear any braids all the time. I just wear a satin scarf every single night. That's all you need to do. Wear a satin scarf every single night, and when your hair is feeling dry, spray some water on it, okay, and put some oil or some hair milk or something after you spray the water to seal in that moisture. Because water, Thankfully, I also learned this from Kimmy too, is the only thing that seals in moisture to the hair. I'm sorry, sorry. Ah, I'm like talking all over myself. Water is the only thing that moisturizes the hair, and that's true. Because even the oils that penetrate the hair shaft, and there are a few oils that do, coconut oil, which is virgin coconut oil, being one of them, there are like three oils that penetrate, and there might be a couple that I don't even know what I mean. 
the world is in the last place as many years. Um, oiled elements and maybe newly discovered things that I don't know about. But as far as I know, the only three oils that penetrate the hair shaft and can condition the hair from within, strengthening the hair shaft from within, are coconut oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil. Okay? Even those oils that penetrate, i.e. coconut oil, do not moisturize the hair. And I have, like by itself, and I have personal experience with this because I used to use coconut oil by itself on my hair, thinking that, oh, this is going to moisturize my hair. And my hair still felt dry. And I'm talking about pure, natural, virgin coconut oil. It did not do it for me. Even with those oils that penetrate the shaft, you still need water to moisturize your hair completely. Because even though these oils may help strengthen your hair from within, they do not moisturize it as well as water. Water is the only thing that moisturizes. So even though this is like a ridiculously awesome thing to use on your hair, virgin coconut oil, I still have to use water with it. And I've personally experienced that it really makes a massive difference. And my hair feels softer and, you know, more pliable. It just feels so much better when I use um, when I use water with it, you know, and it's so easy, like water, just use tap water. So that's all you need to do. Water your hair like a plant. Fill it in with fill it in with whatever you want, be it an oil, a hair milk, shea butter, whatever. My hair personally hates shea butter. I try it for like over a year. Um, but whatever it is you want to use to put on top of that water that you just sprayed on your hair, do that. Okay? It's extremely simple. Water your hair, seal it in with something, uh, wear a satin scarf or bonnet every night. I never, I try my best. Sometimes I can't help it and I don't have one. So I like use a cotton, oh my gosh, yes, a cotton scarf or something if I have to. Like if I'm at my sister's house or something and I don't have it. But try your best every single night to wear a satin scarf or bonnet. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And the, um, the icing on the cake is really those tingling uh, scalp oils. Like in my case, the tea tree and the coconut. If you can add that in your hair, will be growing like that, okay? And I'll make um, another video. You can really check out those two videos. Uh, I also have Kimmy's video links down below talking about moisture and how water is always seen in moisture. So definitely check that out as well. But there are different concoctions of stimulating scalp oils you can use on your hair. Uh, so definitely just check that out. Experiment. Obviously, Terry really talked about that in the video. Excuse me. I'm going to make another video to this that goes more in depth on exactly like what I do with the stimulating stop oils. But really, if you just want a quick link, just check those videos below and it tells you everything you need to know. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, this rather controversial video that I've been making. I touched on in my blog channel, but I didn't like to make an official video about it. So yeah, I will talk to you soon. Later.